Hey guys, my name is Paul Ward and you're welcome to Lead Press uh -huh. 2022. Woo! Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so right here with me is um, a person I really respect a lot, you know, a poet, a renowned poet in the world. Uh -huh. Please, sir, can you introduce yourself? Hey, what's good, y'all? Uh, my name is Rudy Francisco. I'm from San Diego, California in the U.S. and I'm out here visiting for LipFest. All right, so um, Rudy, um, I just want to say welcome to Nigeria and I'm uh, thank sure you must have heard this like a lot of times uh -huh. since you stay here. Um, so I just have a few questions for you. Um, oh, first okay. question. So today was Islam. Uh, uh -huh. So I would like to know um, what what's your thoughts on Islam? Do you think um, coming to this space, coming to this community, uh -huh. um, how would you rate the poem that you've heard? Oh. Do you think uh, that, do you think these poems are good? And how would you basically how would you rate these poems? Oh, I think these poems were incredible. Um, you never really know what to expect when you come to another country to see poetry slam. Um, and I've been to quite a few countries to, to look at Poetry Slam and just be in the environment. And this is actually one of the best environments that I've been to. Like a lot of the, and I'm not just saying that because I'm here, right? A lot of the work that I heard tonight was just crafted extremely well, you know? Um, and what's really awesome is that like you hear stories that, you know, are in a completely different environment, completely different country that, that you can still relate to, right? It, it, I think poetry often reminds us that the human experience is something that like we're all engaging in at the same time. So, so yeah, I loved hearing the stories today. Love the poems tonight. Definitely glad I was here. Okay, so um, yeah. that's good to hear. Okay, so you yeah. mentioned that um, you've been in other countries, you've experienced yeah. um, certain poetry. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. What is that unique experience that you've experienced here in Nigeria? Uh -huh. that is quite different from what you've experienced in other countries. Well, I, I think the energy, right? Um, because everybody, every country has a different performance style. And even within those countries, they have regions that have different performance styles as well. Okay. What I really noticed about, about this one is that like, people were, were, when they're really engaged in like, in activism and social change, right? And the energy that people bring to the stage is just like, it's unmatched, right? Like, I, I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. It's like hearing social critique with like, you know, like a, a really good amount of like, of investment, right? I felt like people really cared about the things that they were saying tonight. And those are some of my best parts. Those are my, some of my favorite parts. Okay, so uh, one other question. I really need to ask this because I mean, yeah. it's, it's basically like a rite of passage uh -huh. for uh, people who come to Nigeria. Yeah. Have you tasted our jollof rice? Oh yeah, I've had jollof like four times already. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? What do you think oh, I love it. I've had jollof rice before, okay, okay, but I had okay, it in the okay. States. Okay. But like, I can definitely tell that there's a difference. Okay, you know what okay. I mean? Because okay. I really enjoyed it here. Okay, so yeah. that's good. Um, it was nice talking to you. Oh, um, likewise. Just, okay, um, for some few minutes, can you please give a shout out to Orange Poetry? Okay. Or oh, no, you don't say something beautiful for us then. Uh, okay, absolutely. So look at the camera and do it. Okay. Yo, big shout out to Orange Poetry. Thank y'all so much for having me. Um, it's been a great time here in Nigeria. I'm looking forward to being on the stage. Uh, once again, shout out to Orange Poetry. Uh, we would love to talk to y'all again. Y'all have a good night.